Hello, this is Lindsay from Have Clothes Will Travel. In today's video, I'm sharing my brutally honest review of my stay at Sandals Royal Curacao. This is a relatively new, all-inclusive luxury resort. I'm sharing everything you want to know about this resort in Curacao, from the restaurants to the beach to the services and more. But spoiler alert, I don't recommend staying at this resort and honestly won't be staying at another Sandals resort ever again because of my experience here. It was that bad. I'll get into the details of why that is a little later, but first, let's take a look at this resort. Sandals Royal Curacao opened up on June 24th of 2022, and it's currently the only Sandals resort in Curacao. Curacao is an island that is just 45 miles north of Venezuela and 70 miles east of Aruba. It's a constituent country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The Sandals Curacao Resort is located in Newport in the private gated community of Santa Barbara. The resort is about a 30 minute drive from the old town center of Willemstead. And the resort is about a 40 minute drive from the Curacao International Airport, which is the only airport on the island. Sandals does provide shuttles to and from the airport as part of your stay. Sandals resorts are all-inclusive and adult-only. These are the specific amenities provided by Sandals Royal Curacao that are included in your stay. You'll have dining at eight restaurants, three food trucks, unlimited alcoholic beverages, there are 13 bars including a swim-up bar, and every room has a stocked bar. You'll also have access to scuba diving equipment, and you'll be able to go diving and snorkeling with no extra charges. They also give hobby cat rides, there's tennis, a fitness center, all kinds of entertainment and live shows. You'll also get to use Dutch bikes to explore the resort. All of your tips, taxes, and gratuities are included in your stay. You'll also have free Wi-Fi and you can have a wedding if you stay here for three nights or longer. And before we get into the nitty gritty of this review, I do also want to mention that this was not my first Sandals experience. My husband and I took our first international trip to the Sandals Latak in St. Lucia more than 12 years ago. We've since had the chance to stay at various Sandals resorts in Jamaica, as well as the Beaches Resort in Turks and Caicos. We visited a total of eight Sandals and Beaches properties, including Curacao. We've absolutely loved every Sandals and Beaches experience we've previously had. The service and food are always top-notch, and the resorts themselves are spectacular. However, the resort in Curacao did not live up to the Sandals brand. I do also feel like it's important to be clear that there's virtually no financial upside for me to be honest in this review video. It's because one of the biggest ways I make money is via affiliate links. That means when someone clicks a link on my channel and makes a purchase, I get a small commission. However, when something is negative, I don't have anything to sell. The brand can also take away all the pending commissions I have with them. And to be clear, I am in no way looking for compensations from Sandals for the stay or the services they provided. Have Coleswell Travel is built on honesty, integrity, and my experience. I will never publish a positive review of a product or a place if I don't believe it to be true. So you're going to get the whole side of this story. So now that we have a little better understanding of the new Sandals Curacao Resort and my background, let's dive into my personal experience of staying here in February of 2023. The room I had stayed at Sandals Curacao was called the Subi Premium, I think is how you say it. And it had a view of the garden. This is one of the most affordable rooms you can stay at here. Our room number was 2322, which is located in the middle, meaning there were people above us and below us. I'll walk you through it in detail, but suffice it to say, I don't recommend staying in this room. I chose this room because I know from past resort reviews I've written that these are the rooms my readers are most interested in seeing. My husband and I also don't spend very much time in our room when we're at these resorts, so spending an arm and a leg on a premium suite has just never really been worth it for us. We had also stayed in a room that was really similar to this one at Beaches Turks and Caicos, and we loved it. The room itself at Sandals Curacao had a very new and modern feeling. It was also the cleanest room I've ever seen in all of my travels, so hats off to the housekeeping staff here. The view was pretty, but as you can see, we were also looking right into our neighbor's windows from the balcony, so there really wasn't much for privacy. Why I don't recommend this room is because it is so loud. You can hear everything that happens in the hallways and outside. You can also hear your neighbors above you. My husband and I hardly slept a wink while we were here. The first night we could hear the room service cart bouncing down the hallway filled with glass bottles until well past midnight. Then our upstairs neighbors were outside talking on their balcony at 1am. 
They weren't arguing or anything. They were just talking, but we could still hear them in our room. In other nights, the fire alarm went off in the middle of the night without any explanation from the staff as to what happened. And to be clear, this happened more than once. And before 8 a.m., you could start to hear housekeeping and the carts on the tile floor again. Needless to say, this is the most exhausted and sleep-deprived we've ever been while staying at an all-inclusive resort. Again, we had stayed in a similarly situated room at Beaches, Turks, and Caicos and did not have any of these issues. Do you realize this sounds nitpicky? However, even though we stayed in the least expensive room at this resort for five nights, it still costs over $5,000. $5,621 to be exact, and that's without flights or any additional services. So for more than $1,000 a night, it doesn't seem crazy to expect to get a decent night's sleep. Moving on to the service at Sandals Curacao. Overall, the service at Sandals Curacao is really bad in our experience. There were a handful of employees who were spectacular, though. Shout out to Kim at Gatsu Gatsu and the lovely Holtz at Vincent's, whose name I'm sorry, but I can't remember. He's a very tall, slender man who is so nice. You two were amazing. But the majority of the staff were either, I would guess, brand new or just didn't care. I would describe the general vibe here as being an unwelcome guest at someone else's home. It's a weird vibe for a Sandals resort. In all of our past Sandals experiences, the staff were all outstanding and went out of their way to make sure we were having a good stay and felt welcome. Here, I felt like I was constantly being a burden to the staff when ordering food, drinks, services, etc. We did eventually talk to a manager about this and they admitted they were having a lot of issues. They said it was a cultural difference between Sandals and the Dutch island of Curacao and they were still trying to figure out how to work out all the kinks. They were actually bringing in quite a few staff members from other Sandals resorts and injecting them into this resort to boost the service. Here are a couple of other examples of times that were less than amazing with the Sandals Curacao staff. We had arranged to take an off-site tour on our own to snorkel with sea turtles. When the tour operator came to get us, he went to the front desk to let them know he was here to pick up two guests and then gave them our names. The front desk told him, sorry, but they've already checked out. He said that couldn't be possible as he had just spoken with me last night. The front desk was vehement though and said they had personally checked us out and we were no longer there. Fortunately, the tour operator had my number and just called instead of leaving. Ordering food and drinks was almost always an ordeal here too. And the orders were frequently wrong. There were very few dining experiences at this resort that didn't result in a very long wait, mass confusion, cold food, and rather inattentive odd service all around. A few quick examples of this are at Vincent's. They ignored my husband's drink order and it took around an hour and 40 minutes to get the main course and it ended up being cold steak and cold seafood. It was so bad we ended up just leaving without eating. We ordered a pizza another time at a different restaurant and we were told it would take 15 minutes. We waited 45 minutes before we went in to ask about it and nobody was there. Another guest ended up coming over to me and told me the pizza oven broke yesterday. So needless to say, we never did get a pizza. A manager at Strand asked us about the service one time and we responded honestly, it hasn't been great. He ignored us, smiled and said, that's great, then walked away. The spa at Sandals Curacao. My husband and I had also booked a couple's massage for the spa. The spa at Sandals Curacao was really not impressive, though, based on where the spa is located. You could still hear the party happening at the pool while you're inside the spa. And noisy drink carts being pushed above, as well as the staff talking in the check-in area. We also didn't have the option to show or rinse off before getting our massage, and there's no sauna or hot and cold plunge pools as you can get at other Sandals resorts. And then the massages themselves were here also the worst that my husband and I have ever had, hands down. We were both in pain afterwards, and this couple's massage cost $495. The Sandals Curacao Beach. Sandals Curacao does have a rather small sandy beach that is on a canal and protected by a large dock. There won't be any waves on this beach unless it's from a passing boat. It's not your typical Sandals Beach. Some people were really disappointed by this. Personally, I liked the beach area just fine. It was really quiet and I never had any issues finding a chair. Just note there is another beach area, which is just off the main infinity pool. This area is very rocky and rough. It's not recommended to swim here. 
the activities at Sandals Curacao. The activities and entertainment are where Sandals Curacao really excels. I thought they did an excellent job with everything they offered and the nightly events they put on. Snorkeling is included with your rate and it is fabulous. There are two snorkel sites depending on the day and you'll go to one or the other. The water is super clear and there are a lot of varieties of fish to see. The crew that takes you snorkeling is incredibly kind and fun too. Some of the people we talked to at the resort were going snorkeling every single day they enjoyed it so much. Scuba diving is also included with Sandals Resorts, which is a fantastic perk. And the nightly entertainment here. I have never cared one bit about nightly entertainment at any resort we've ever stayed at. However, at Sandals Curacao, my husband and I were both making sure we were done with our dinner at 9 so we could get to see what the entertainment crew was up to. They were phenomenal at every single event they put on. The first night was an extravagant Valentine's Day party, complete with horse-drawn carriages, roses, chocolate fountains, and live singers and dancers who were super talented. The next night was incredibly talented fire dancers. Seriously, I would have happily paid extra to attend that show. They were fantastic. One afternoon, too, while we were relaxing on the beach, the most amazing violinist began playing. He played for over an hour. Again, we would have happily have paid extra to watch and listen to him because he was that good. They have such a talented entertainment crew at Sandals Curacao. Now, our experience with the management at Sandals Curacao and why we're never staying at another Sandals resort. So, if we would have never spoken to the management at this resort, I would have ended this review by saying this is a resort that's going through some growing pains and doesn't currently live up to the Sandals brand standard but it has a lot of promise. I think if you wait until 2024 to stay here, they'll have the inconsistent staff and food issues worked out and you'll get to stay at a very beautiful and posh resort in Curacao. I just wouldn't recommend going right now. However, that's not how this review is going to end. After we had finished our awful massages, we did speak with a member of management named Selena. She was really kind and listened attentively to the different issues we spoke of. We also told her that we were here for the purpose of writing a blog post and making a YouTube video. And given our experience, we have seen enough to know we won't be recommending people stay here just yet. We exchanged WhatsApp numbers with her and ended up meeting with her and a director named Robbie. They were both very kind and listened attentively to the issues we spoke of and took a lot of notes. We were glad they were taking the things we were pointing out to heart. It gave me faith that they were going to work out these kinks and they would eventually have a great resort. Then they apologized for the issues we experienced and offered to invite us back to the resort at a later date to see how it had improved. They wanted to offer us a voucher for the amount we had spent at Sandals Curacao to use within the next 18 months. Robbie confirmed our thoughts that it would be best to wait at least another year before we would come back, as he said the problems we experienced won't be fixed in three months or even six months. Sandals Curacao needs more time than that to work out their issues. However, we also weren't obligated to use this voucher at this resort. We could use it at any of the Sandals resorts, but it would be great if they could show us the improvements they had made at Sandals Curacao. We did decide to take them up on the offer to come back to Sandals Curacao at a later date to see how it had improved. Selena had then asked us to come to her office to sign some papers and pick up the voucher. This is where things went off the rails. See, they weren't offering us a voucher in good faith, they were offering this voucher to settle a claim. The fine print of the contract they presented us was for a voucher that had an NDA disclosure in it that stated if we took this voucher, we would then never be able to speak of or write about our experience at this resort. And that was the whole reason we had come here. And we had explicitly pointed that out when we spoke with them. This NDA was not obvious at all in this contract either. Rather, it was snuck in with some very convoluted wording at the end. My husband reads through contracts like this daily for his job, so he caught it right away, but I honestly probably wouldn't have. Needless to say, we went back and forth for a while and eventually gave the contract back, as we would not sign it. Just to clarify, we did pay for this entire stay, plus our spa services, ourselves. We did not accept this voucher or the contract that was offered. So needless to say, our next all-inclusive resort will be with Marriott and not Sandals. I won't continue to make videos about brands who try to buy my opinion. I also want to note that I've had several couples reach out to me who've read my already published blog post about this resort, and they have said they had similar experiences to ours, unfortunately. Some had stayed here as recently as August of 2023. 
So my advice for my viewers is, if you are still diehard Sandals fans, I'm not here to tell you to never go back to a Sandals resort. This is just my personal stance. But rather, avoid Sandals Curacao for at least the next year. Go to any other resort except this one. However, I highly recommend coming to Curacao. I would just recommend staying at a different resort right now. We had a great time at the Renaissance Resort in Willemstead. This island is my favorite Caribbean destination so far. It is so beautiful and safe and has fantastic food and incredible activities. I'll have an entire section on my blog and YouTube dedicated to travel guides for visiting this incredible island. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If anyone has any questions at all about the Sandals Carousel Review, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments section. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more honest reviews and travel guides like this one.